You don't need 20% down to buy a house. There, I said it and I'll say it again because this myth needs to die. You do not need 20% down to buy a house. What else are you wrong about when it comes to home loan down payments? Let's talk about four of them in today's video. Hi, I'm Charlotte, a local realtor here in Thurston County. Myth number one, you need a 10 to 20% down payment. You do not need a 10 to 20% down payment to buy a house. I feel like I need to say this a dozen more times. This continues to be probably the biggest myth and misconception about purchasing a home. And it probably deters a lot of potential buyers from even looking into what they could possibly afford because they can't fathom coming up with that amount of money. Here's the thing. According to the National Association of Realtors, Realtors Confidence Index Survey, that's such a mouthful, the percentage of first time buyers who put down a less than 20% down payment is 71%. That's a large number of people who didn't have 20% down. In fact, about 60% of home buyers financed their purchase using 6% or less down payment. 6% sure is a lot less daunting, right? There are some loan programs out there that actually actually allow you to put down as little as 3% and in some cases even 0%. Myth number two, low down payment programs are only for first time buyers or low income buyers. Also not true. There are low down payment and down payment assistance programs that are available to many qualified home buyers, even those buying their second or fifth or 10th house. Newhomesource.com reported that according to a study by Data Aggregator Realty Track and Down Payment Resource, nearly nine out of 10 US homes could qualify for down payment assistance programs when they also fall within maximum income limit. However, 70% of adults are unaware of these programs, that they even exist. Myth number three, it's difficult to qualify for down payment assistance. Well, there are assistance programs available for home buyers with all levels of income, renters, owners, and buyers with all kinds of different credit scores. The best bet is to talk with a lender to see what programs they have and also what programs are available in our area. Myth number four, you can't use gifts, grants, or loans for your down payment. So this is more of a lender specific thing. Lots of lenders allow you to use money that has been gifted either with a grant or from family to be used for some, if not all of your down payment. Several of these myths are also lender specific. Each lender has different loan programs that they offer. So while you might think that you wanna use your bank, you might actually find a better loan program through a different lender. It is important to shop around. I know that buyers are often worried that shopping around will hurt your credit score and there is a lot of nuance to it. Both Credit Karma and Nerd Wallet agree. It depends on if they're doing a soft or a hard inquiry. A hard inquiry will cause you to lose some points, but generally not for each lender, as long as you have them pull that within a 14 day window. So basically the system knows that you probably aren't trying to get three or four mortgages. And if you have these lenders pull them within that 14 day window, they are counted as one inquiry. So you only drop that small amount of credit score once. So do your research, talk to a few lenders, find out what programs they have, what down payment assistance programs they work with, get a feel for how they communicate with you and see if you drive with them. And if you're ready to move forward with the home buying process, even if you're not thinking about it for a year from now, you can find the link to my home buyer's guide in the description below. And then check out this video to see which pre-approval type you need. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.